Great. Now when you move out, what am I supposed to make coffee with? A pair of underpants and a waste paper basket? <laughs> oh, hey, it's Crystal. Close the door. She's Dad's girlfriend. I have to say hi. Hey, Crystal. Oh, hi, hi. Okay, you had your little wave. Hey, don't turn that hand around. Turn that hand back. You will always have to be Mr. Nice. If there's one thing I can't stand... Hey, there, you. Hey, guys. Elevator out again? Oh, yeah. And let me tell you, it's not easy walking up nine flights of stairs with these damn melons weighing me down. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you want to take a break? Have a cup of coffee? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get on in here. I sure I could use a break, I guess. Oh. I've been working hard all morning trying to finish my poetry class assignment. Oh, yeah? How's it going? Okay, I guess. We're supposed to write about the first time we experience true love. It's hard. I can't think of anything to rhyme with Trans Am. And don't say Wham or Bam, because I already used those. <laughs> hey, you know what? I got some stuff in here from Zabar's. How about I make us a breakfast? Ah, oh, that's... Okay, yeah! <laughs> that's great! Love it! <laughs> Very excited! <laughs> Are you happy now? <laughs> we have to make small talk with her for a whole damn meal. What is your problem with her? I don't know. It always feels a little disloyal to mom. Plus, it's awkward. I put in her breast implants and then, you know. Oh, that's right. You asked her out and she turned you down. That's got to be tough, having a girl pick your dad over you. <laughs> they hadn't even started dating yet. Oh, so she turned you down in favor of... Nothing. <laughs> hey, does Dad know you asked Crystal out? No, he doesn't, and that's how I'd like it to stay. So keep your mouth shut or I'll stitch it up while you sleep. <laughs> I told you to stop saying that. I've had dreams. <laughs> oh, Mom, hey, look, it's Mom. Oh. Gosh, when are they going to fix that damn elevator? Mom, what are you doing here? Well, I had to drop off Monty, but your father wasn't home, so I thought I'd leave him here. Oh, goodness, at least I don't have to deal with his helium-voiced love bunny. <laughs> okay, Mom. It'll be easier on the way back down. Thanks for coming. Hey, please, please, let me catch my breath. <laughs> you know, another thing about that crystal, I just don't like the way she treats this dog as if it was her own. I mean, he came home last week. Wearing a poncho, I know I didn't give him. <laughs> Call me paranoid. Sometimes I think she's trying to make my baby forget who his real mommy is. Okay, boys. Breakfast is almost ready. Crystal. Dr. Burns. I love you, mommy. All I'm saying is, next time we go grocery shopping and you see me talking to a woman, could you not drop three avocados into our cart and say, wait till you taste the frittata I'm gonna make you for breakfast? Well, I won't be making it now, not with that attitude. Hold the elevator! Hold the elevator! Hey, Bob. Hey, hey guys. Well, I'm so happy I bumped into you. Thank you so much for inviting Crystal into breakfast yesterday. It made her feel so accepted. Well, I saw her in the hallway and couldn't ignore her. So, we want to thank you by taking you out tonight for uh, dinner. What do you say? Hey. What do you say? Well, we were going to a movie with Regina, but we can do that anytime we'd love to. Fun, fun, fun. Yeah, yeah. Great. Okay. All right. Listen, I'm going to call your sister, too, and then I'm going to make reservations at our favorite Ming's. Oh, great. So we'll meet you there at 8. No, no, no. We'll pick you up at 6. That way we can stop by Crystal's poetry reading first. What is the matter with you? Well, I'm just trying to be... Nice. I know. Well, nice going. Now we're going to a poetry reading. How am I going to stay awake? I don't have enough nose hairs to pull out. <laughs> hey, serves you right for telling Mom I was the one who invited Crystal in. I think she's really mad. Grow up, Ben. 30 years old and still afraid of his mom! Hi, guys. Hi, Mom. How'd you get in here? I used a spare you gave me to water the plants when you went to Atlantic City. That wasn't a spare. That was my key. Which I used to make a spare. <laughs> so, I just came by 
right to pick up that cake plate you borrowed. Unless, of course, you need it for a baking date with your new brunch buddy. <laughs> Mom, listen about that. Oh, forget it, darling. I have. <laughs> so, I'm baking a cake for Maria. Who's uh, Maria? Maria? Our housekeeper? Only oh, the woman who looked yeah. after you kids for the better part of three decades. Right, right. Anyway, tomorrow is Maria's 80th birthday, and I'm baking a cake and bringing it to her in the nursing home. You're baking a cake? You've never baked a cake in your life. If I can put a pig valve in a man's chest, I think I can follow a recipe. <laughs> I don't suppose you boys are free tonight to drive up with me? Tonight? Yeah. Uh, actually, Mom, we've got plans. We're uh, supposed to go to a friend's surprise party, so... Right, right. Fine, fine. Have fun. And if you get a chance, please give Maria a call tomorrow. She did work her hands into stumps cooking and cleaning for this family, but if you can, I understand. Out with the old, in with the new. We'll try, Mom. And listen, about yesterday. Oh, let it go, darling. I have. <laughs> Don't you know better than to give your mother a key? Honestly, if I knew you were like this, I never would have moved in with you. <laughs> Here she is, the lady of the hour. I feel like a movie star. <laughs> A lot of heady stuff from this one tonight, huh? Oh, yeah. it's very profound. Yeah, I wouldn't want to live in a world without unicorns either. By the way, I'm sorry about that two-drink minimum. Trust me, it wasn't a problem. It was just so exciting, the smoky lounge, the stage, the spotlight on my face. I just hope you could hear me over the guy bowling all those strikes. <laughs> You know what? Crystal is having a poetry meeting lunchtime on yeah. Tuesday if you're available. Wow. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I can make a yeah. damn. <laughs> well, you know what? That's all right, because I've got a friend who can burn you a DVD. Oh, just send it to me. I'll burn it. <laughs> oh, Oliver, speaking of Tuesday, are we going to be done by lunch? Oh, sure. Tuesday, what's happening on Tuesday? Oh, it's nothing. She's just coming in for a little follow-up exam. Really? Huh. Yeah, it's been six months since I put in her implants. Oh, that's funny. It's been six months since you got that camera, too. <laughs> well, let's go pick on a lobster. Okay, but you have to help me, because you know how hard this is for me. Well, this time, don't name them. Okay. <laughs> that was weird, wasn't it? What? The way Dad reacted when he heard about Crystal's appointment. I think he knows you asked her out. You know what you need to do? Oh, boy. No, seriously, you guys need to sit down and talk this through. Talk. Communicate, share feelings. That is your answer for everything. Here's my answer. Oh, come on! Those lobsters make me so sad. They all look like such old souls. You know what? Let's have a toast to Crystal for the wonderful job that she did tonight. Oh, to Crystal. Crystal. To Crystal. Yeah. And here we are at Ming's, our family restaurant where we spent so many wonderful nights. <gasps> Stuart. And one not so great one. <laughs> Mom. Oh, hello, everyone. I thought you were going upstate. Yes, and I thought you were going to a surprise party. Well, surprise. <laughs> so, forgive me for interrupting what was clearly a festive occasion before the first Mrs. Barnes stumbled down from the attic and ruined it. <laughs> Come on, we are so sorry. Yeah, Mom, come on, sit down. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. I, I have my takeout. I was working late on my cake, so I thought I'd drive up in the morning, but please, enjoy the restaurant that I introduced us to 30 years ago. Mom, would you like some company tomorrow? Only if you want to, Ben. Well, it is Maria's 80th birthday. I think we'd all like to go, right, guys? Right, yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Who's Maria? Oh, she was a longtime housekeeper, a, a lovely lady. It's her 80th birthday and you're not going? Well, first of all, Lydia doesn't want me there. And second of all, we have our Jets tickets that we paid a fortune for. Oh, Stuart, I'd love for you to come. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, it's done. I'll see you all in the morning. Well, thanks for including us. Oh, don't thank me. Thank you, Brother Ben. Oh, we will. <laughs>